friends and I get together every night at the tavern at Broadway Wait first, where we sit way in the back, me, Jill, Rose, and Jack, where we silently work on my third. Food and Beverage Service with Keith Phillips. Today I'll be talking to you about tableware and specialized equipment used in uh, fine dining restaurants and coffee shops, even room service uh, and other food and beverage outlets. Tableware. Tableware consists of flatware, cutlery and hollowware. Types of tableware. Tableware is a term recognized as embracing all types of flatware, cutlery and hollowware. It may be classified as follows. Flatware. In the catering trade, flatware denotes all forms of spoon and fork. Cutlery. Cutlery refers to knives and other cutting implements. In my career, I have come across many food professionals that uh, constantly make an error over here. They normally presume cutlery includes knives, forks and spoons, etc. There is a big difference. Spoon and forks are flatware. A cutlery only refers to knives and other cutting implements. Cutlery doesn't refer to fork and spoon. If in a restaurant you ask a, a trainee or an apprentice, to go to the stewarding area or the dishwashing area and ask for cutlery, you are actually asking according to the term for knives. It could be joint knife, fish knife, B&B knife, etc. If you want fork and spoons, you have to tell him, please bring the flat to it. If you want fork, spoons and knives, then you should be telling him, bring me the flatware and cutlery. This needs to change. People who have done hotel management and catering technology are aware that flatware means spoon and fork and cutlery means knives and other cutting implements. Hollowware. Hollowware consists of any item made from silver apart from flatware and cutlery. Example teapots, milk jugs, sugar basins, oval flats, pots, etc. Any item which has a depth in it is called a hollowware. Hollow. There is a hollow in the equipment. Some important crockery items that are used in uh, fine dining, coffee shop, room service, etc. are mentioned here. It is not comprehensive. There are some items that are not mentioned over here which when an apprentice or a trainee goes into the hotel, he will be introduced to it. A side plate, a 6 inch in diameter. This is also known as a BNB plate, bread and butter plate. It is used for, bre for bread rolls and bread sticks that accompany a meal. Sweet or dessert plate. 
7 inches in diameter. Used for the service of sweet and dessert items such as cream caramel and fresh fruits. Again, many make a mistake over here. They presume the sweet is also a dessert. A sweet is not a dessert. A sweet is something like a cream caramel. A dessert, according to the traditional classical menu, is fresh fruits and nuts. Fish plate, 8 inches in diameter, used for the service of fish items. The plates are usually oval shaped taking the size of the fish, but may be served in round plates as well. Soup plate, 8 inches diameter, used for the service of soup. The soup plate is used in fine dining restaurants with an underliner and the consomme cup in the coffee shop, room service, etc. Joint plate 10 inches diameter. A joint plate is also known as a dinner plate. It is used for the service of meat items like chicken, steaks, duck, lamb, etc. Cereal bowl, 5 inches diameter, used for the service of cereals such as cornflakes, muesli, rice flakes, bran, etc. May also be used for cut fresh fruits. Breakfast cup and saucer, 8 to 10 flow ounce. The breakfast cup is normally used for breakfast. It is the largest of all the cups. It is used for the service of coffee, tea, etc. Do not confuse a breakfast cup with a tea cup or a coffee or demitas cup. Teacup and saucer, 6 and 2 third flow ounce. This cup is smaller than a breakfast cup and used for the service of tea. This may also be used for cappuccino. Teapot, they come in half pint, one pint, one and a half pint and two pints used for the service of tea. A teapot and coffee pot may also come in stainless steel. Teapot and coffee pot half pint, one pint, one and a half pint and two pints. They are used for the service of tea and coffee. In this diagram, the pot that is to the left is the teapot. The teapot is short and stout and the coffee pot to the right is tall and slim. A lot of waiters make a mistake and do not know which is a coffee pot and a teapot. Remember, a teapot is short and stout and the coffee pot is tall and slim. The oval platter. The oval platter is used for the service of cuts of meat such as poultry, game, lamb, etc. The crescent plate. A plate that is recognized everywhere 
and is used for the service of salads. An egg cup, popular during breakfast service. It normally holds uh, boiled eggs cooked at various degrees. An egg cup normally holds two eggs, one on top and the other underneath. Butter dish used for the service of butter. Hot water jug used for the service of hot water. Many customers like their tea or coffee to be diluted. Hence a hot water jug is used for this purpose. A milk or cream jug used for the service of hot or cold milk and cream. Normally served with tea or coffee. A sugar basin. There are two types of sugar basins. One can be open and the other is sealed with a cover. They are used for the service of sugar such as cubes, sachets, etc. Salt and pepper pots used for the service of salt and pepper on the dining table. Flatware. As mentioned earlier, flatware denotes forks and spoons only. We have three forks here. The first is a joint fork, also called a dinner fork or table fork. And then we have a fish fork. And then we have a sweet or dessert fork. The difference between these three is the fish fork. The fish fork is identified by the cuts it has under the tines. The joint and sweet fork do not have that indentation below the tines. Spoons. Coffee spoon, teaspoon, soup and sweet or dessert spoon. Service spoon and service fork used for the service of food and vegetables from the platter to the plate. An essential skill for all food service waiters. Cutlery. Cutlery in the hospitality industry refers to only knives and other cutting implements. Here we have a joint knife, a fish knife and sweet or dessert knife. Again, the difference between the three knives is the fish knife. Just like the fish fork, it has an indentation on it. Cutlery, a steak knife. A steak knife is used for cutting steaks at the table. Any guest who has ordered a steak like a sirloin, an entrecot or a T-bone steak, instead of the joint knife, we use a steak knife. A steak knife is always recognized by its wooden handle. Now we will talk about some specialized service equipment normally used in fine dining but also can be used in the coffee shop. Asparagus holder used to hold asparagus spears while eating. Sugar tongs used to hold cube sugar. A pastry slice normally seen on a sweet trolley. It's used to serve portions of cake 
pastries and other items. Oyster fork used to serve shellfish cocktails like shrimp cocktails or prawn cocktails but used mainly for oysters. This is a three-pronged fork. A pastry fork. A pastry fork is normally used during afternoon tea when a lot of pastries are served. If you look at the pastry fork of the three prongs or tines, one of the tine looks more like a knife. That side is used to slice into the pastries or cakes. Corn on the cob holders. Normally, two holders are served along with the corn on the cob. The corn on the cob might come directly from the restaurant or ready with the corn on the cob holders attached to it. If that is not the practice, then the food service waiter should set this on the table. Sauce boat and sauce ladle with underliner. This is used to serve sauce for meat items or even poultry items. Sauces such as espanol, gravy, etc. are served from it. A nutcracker, normally served with dessert, that is fruits and nuts. Grape scissors to cut and hold a portion of grapes. Ice cream spoon used for ice cream dishes served in coupes. If you look at that spoon, it is square instead of being round. This is designed like this so that you could cut into the ice cream. Grapefruit spoon for grapefruit halves. A half a grapefruit is normally served in a coupe. Because of the various segments in the grapefruit, a spoon with a point is needed to remove each segment. Sunday spoon. If you look at the Sunday spoon, it is longer than a teaspoon or a coffee spoon. In fact, it is longer than a tablespoon. This spoon is used for sweets made out of ice cream that are served in a tall glass. For example, faluda. Snail's dish, snail's tongue and snail fork. The dish is used to hold snails, could be six or seven snails. The tongs to hold the snail shells and fork to extract the snail from the shell. Just like spaghetti bolognese, this is the only time where the snail fork goes to the right side of the cover and the snail tongue goes to the left. The difference between an oyster and a snail fork is that the oyster fork has three prongs or tines, whereas the snail fork has only two prongs or tines.
cheese knife. A cheese knife is always used on a cheese board to cut and pick up the cheese. Stilton scoop. It's used for the service of Stilton cheese because the cheese comes in a block and is very hard. This scoop is used to push into the cheese and lift a portion of it out for service. Butter knife to serve a butter portion. Gourmet spoon. This spoon is used for the serving of sauces. Preserve or jam spoon. Used with preserves or a jam dish. These are some specialized service equipment basically used in the still room. A still room refrigerator for storage of breakfast items. Still room double sink and draining board. Dishwasher. Salamander. A salamander may be used for making toasts, for grilling, and even for gratinating a dish. A rotating toaster for use in the still room, during breakfast, or any other part of the day. A sandwich toaster used in the still room or garde manger for making grilled sandwiches. Bread slicing machine. Coffee grinding machine to make cappuccino and espresso coffees. An espresso machine for making cappuccino and espresso coffees.